How are we doing guys in this finish? Brentford nil, Arsenal 1 and we are top of the league. <laughs> Kai Havertz with a winning goal in injury time. But I tell you what, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat this. I'm not going to sit here and paper over some very obvious cracks. Because for 90 minutes that was a very toothless and a very spineless performance. I don't know what's happened to us in comparison to last season, but that free-flowing type of football we play is non-existent. Now, I know this is one of those games that you can look back on and you say, you got the three points, it's a difficult place to go, Brentford were very dogged in defence and they set up very, very well. But let's look at the reality. We didn't create anything. And the reality is, if it wasn't for two blocks on the line we would have actually conceded two goals. Now, the first one involved Aaron Ramsdale, and that right there is a goalkeeper that is absolutely fragile. And it's very evident that the Brentford management said, stick it on him. Go and put him under pressure, because that right there is somebody that's very fragile and that we may well get something from him. And they very nearly did. You know... Our own mistakes every single time. And then late into the second half, we go and do it again. Sinchenko makes the block this time. Um, Mopai, of all people, nearly scores. We'll remember about Mopai. And he makes a tremendous block. But let's go right back to where the incident started. Sinchenko. Careless, sloppy, stupid. It was just poor. And then there was a moment before we scored and I sat there and I just thought, you know what? This sums Eddie and Ketia up to a T. We got a break. We're on the front foot. We're in a promising position. He has two runners to his right hand side and he tries to shoot. He is selfish. He's greedy and he is not good enough for Arsenal. If we're ever going to win anything at the elite level, you cannot have Eddie Nketiah as your striker. I'm sorry, but no. His record, statistically, when he comes on as a substitute, is dreadful. They even mentioned it in the commentary, how poor his record is when he comes on as a substitute. You know, I don't know what he did when he came on. He wasn't holding up play. He wasn't doing anything. That right there just sums up Eddie Nketiah to a T. He's not a team player. He's a selfish player. Argue amongst yourselves. I really don't care. Because I know there's a lot of people that agree with what I've just said. But we do go and get that winning goal. One little moment. One dangerous cross into the box. Uh, from Bukayo Saka. And Kai Havertz arrives at the back post. What have I been saying about Kai Havertz? You're going to play him, play him as a number nine. Because he can cause problems in the box with his head. You know, it's not rocket science. If you understand football, you'll understand how it works. And it's very, very simple. Brilliant header. We win the game 1-0. Like they say, 1-0 to the Arsenal. But that, yeah, it was a brilliant header. We go back to the first half as well. We actually had a goal disallowed. Um, and I nearly forgot about mentioning that. I want to touch on that quickly. Um, but Trossard scores. Jesus, I think he could probably have scored himself on the first header. Keeper makes the saves. Um, Trossard follows up. Now, it's one of those. You look at one angle and he miles onside. And you look at another and you're like, mm, it's a bit tight. But I'm not going to sit here and moan about you know, the offsides and everything else. Because as I've explained before, the lines are calibrated. Um, and it's like, it's offside at the end of the day. Whichever angle you look at it, it is one of those where it doesn't look offside. And you look on another and you're like, mm, that's a bit close. The lines are in the same position, whichever angle you look at. So it's offside. It is what it is. You move on from it. And it's ultimately not something that we're going to look back on and go, okay, well, that's, you know, cost us today. But, you know, like I said, it was just not a great performance. When we came out for the second half, I genuinely thought to myself, 
okay, I think we'll come out a completely different side in the second half. I think we'll come out and be a bit more on the front foot, a bit more aggressive. And I think that we'll, you know, go and win this game. But we just didn't do any of that. We didn't. It was very, very, very toothless. Um, and when you look, I said it in my preview to the game and everything else. You had Liverpool and Manchester City playing today. That ends in a 1-1 draw. Both teams drop points. It's a huge opportunity. And it's not taking any team lightly in the Premier League. But when you've got Man City and Liverpool playing each other and both dropping points. And then you've got Brentford. You've got to go and win the game. And when you've got Spurs playing Aston Villa tomorrow, you've just got to go about your business. You've got to go and get the three points by any means necessary. And I think, you know, it is one of those we're going to look back on and we can say it's a great three points, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But at the same time, I do want to dissect a lot of what went on on the pitch and why we're not playing so fluidly, why we're not doing things that we were doing last season. And I don't think it's because, you know, other teams have found us out and they're stopping us or anything else. We all know that Bakayo Saka gets doubled up on every time and whatnot. I just don't think it's working. Maybe the loss of Granite Shack is bigger than we thought. I don't know. Um, one thing I will say, again, I've run out of things to say about Declan Rice because in that final 10 minutes or so, when you need somebody to grab you by the scruff of the neck and you need a leader and somebody to drag you through, he was the one at the base of all of that dragging us through. He was the one that was driving us on. He is an immense player. He is a leader. He doesn't need an armband to be the captain. His performances do that themselves. And it's that simple. Declan Rice unbelievable it looks like money well spent when you think about it 100 odd million pound and it's been worth every single penny i tell you that much but um yeah look listen we've got the win i suppose that's the main thing that's the one thing we're going to look on and say brentford is a difficult place to go brentford is a place where you know teams will find it difficult this season um, especially with the likes of Ivan Tony returning very soon. Um, so it's one of those. We've got it done. We've got it dusted. It's out of the way. It's a difficult away match. It's another clean sheet away from home as well. If only we could replicate that, you know, with our home form and have so many clean sheets. But, you know, it was dogged, resolute, um, you know, but at the same time, it was slow and laborious and, it is what it is. We've got the victory. We've got the three points. That's the most important thing. Um, and uh, yeah, we're top of the league. Kai Havertz scores the winning goal. 1-0 to the Arsenal. And uh, we move. So there we go. That is it for my match reaction. Um, as usual, let me know in the comments section whether you agree or disagree with anything that I've spoken about. Um, three points. We go into Champions League football in midweek. Top of the league. We can qualify from our group in the Champions League as well. It's not all that bad, is it? So, uh, yeah, we move. Um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video, and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.